portion of Noah features, of course, a very famous flood story. There are many details of the flood to have to take a look at. One of them, the ark was coated on the inside and the outside with tar. Rashi comments that when Moses was put into a basket in the Nile, the outside of the basket was coated with tar and the inside was coated with pitch. And it mentions, he mentions there that Moses was a really righteous person and would be pained by the smell of tar. Noah was also a righteous person. It says so right in the verse. Why did he have to go through the suffering of having to smell tar? A very interesting thing is brought up by the Tildes Yaakov Yosef. He maintains that had Avraham been told to make an ark, Avraham would not have made the ark. Rather, Avraham would have busied himself with trying to correct the situation to avoid the flood altogether. Since Noah was more concerned about his own interests, so he had to suffer inside the ark with the smell of the tar. Another point that the Toldus Yaakov Yosef mentions is that Noah worked from morning till night for a whole entire year, feeding the animals. Now you could say, wow, this was really hard. Here it was, Noah was going from animal to animal to animal. Some animals eat in the morning, some animals eat in the evening, some animals eat in the afternoon, constantly feeding animals. But he doesn't complain. Why? Because he was a servant of God, and he served God out of love. And therefore, this task of being in the ark with all the animals and all of the smells was for Noah a true labor of love. We can take a lesson from Noah in this week's portion that indeed we also have to toil every single day. But it's the Almighty who put us in these situations which require our toil so that we can also act out of a labor of love. For the Uparsha, I'm Herschel Finman.